Welcome back, everybody. Oh. I'm here to make this easier so we can get everybody in voice together. I have two wonderful people here for a showdown coming up, but I'm gonna let them introduce yourself. I'm Flippity Flam, I'll be your host for the next couple of hours. But take it away, you two. The floor is yours. Alrighty then. Well, might I uh, say the first words? Go ahead. Alright, well, hello everybody. My name is Tempest Mask 1000, and uh, on the other side is Young Zorn. Hello, everybody. My name is Young Zorn. Uh, me and Tempest both are shuffling showdown runners. Indeed, we are. And we are going to present to you. Uh... Wait a minute, Zorn, something's not right here. Really? Oh! Oh, yeah, I know what's wrong. This is not the right double mic. Nah. Let's change that. Three, two, one, boom. There we go. I think that's a bit of a common that's mistake for me. I guess it's sort of spreading to other people now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. Alright, now this is more like. Alright, so this is gonna be a Shovel Knight showdown race between Zorn and I. We're gonna be doing story mode mode on easy and if I could, I have a few uh, things to say before we get started. First and foremost, uh, we were planning on uh, having Zorn uh, with direct game capture, but unfortunately, unfortunately some last minute issues arose, and so we're gonna have to do our best with this. So uh, we do apologize, but we hope you guys uh, are perfectly okay with our setup here. Uh, otherwise, Zorn is gonna be playing on the PlayStation 4 version, while I on the Xbox One version on an Xbox One S. Uh, this is perfectly doable because, as far as we know, there are no loading differences or what or whatnot that would set us at a higher advantage over the other. Uh, Shovel Knight is, is a pretty streamlined game as, as far as going from one screen to the next goes. Uh, third, as you might have noticed, we are doing separate characters. So among the four playable knights within the main game, you guys got to donate to choose which character each of us are are. Uh, are playing, and uh, the top two bid options will be those respective characters. And last but not least, Shovel Knight Showdown is a game that you can run regardless of how many characters or maps you have unlocked, meaning that you can play the game even on a fresh file, like the first playthrough you ever do can be a valid run, and you can submit it to the leaderboard for a possible uh, valid check and stuff, so... But for the all intents and purposes, Zorn and I went to unlock as many characters as we could. I'm only two short of the full roster, but Zorn has all of them, so... Uh, with that said, it should be a pretty interesting one. Oh, and of course the estimate. Uh, I don't expect this race to take 25 minutes, but, um... You know... Things can go very long here. Pretty much. Exactly. considering it's all right. Yeah. Uh, uh, may I ask, uh, may I ask, uh, the top two characters who want the big war work? Yes, yes you may, in fact, but the top two who won the bid war were Plague Knight at $90.97 and King Knight at $36 even. Wow, uh, what a bid war. I'm All doing right. King Knight. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> I guess I'm Plague Knight. Everybody's favorite green boy. Luckily green is my favorite color, so I'm perfectly okay with this outcome. Uh, you want to like do a particular color? Do you want to like randomize it real quick? Just say stop or something? And yeah, yeah you know, it's fine. Never, color doesn't matter. Alright, so, um, are we ready for, uh, are we ready to start? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm ready. Alright. Okay. So, so uh, alright, so, uh, so, um, that. So time will start when we select our difficulty, which in this case will be easy mode. Right. So all the leaderboard, so, uh, the leaderboard is set split between the difficulties, and we'll explain some of the differences as we go along. But uh, yeah, um, chat. There are, we hope... however, also. Oh, sorry. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> you you can say your thing first. <laughs> oh right. Uh, the characters do have their own differences. Like for example, obviously different move set. Uh, but there is a few more differences. Uh, we'll get to that when we get to that, though. All right. All right. Chat, get hyped, because we're hoping to put on a good show for you. Let's get started. Um, timer ready? And we'll begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Go. Right. Go. We're off. And we will skip the first cutscene. And the second one, technically. Indeed. Alright. Alright, I got Dark Reese first. Who did you get? Shield Knight. Nice. Alright, so this is Shovel Knight Showdown. It's a game that was basically one of the last expansions made Ooh. to all the console versions of the game, meaning that you can't find this on the handheld versions for PS Vita or 3DS. This game is uh, basically Super Smash Bros. inspired, but it does have some notable differences that will set the two apart for sure. Uh, each of the characters, as Zorn mentioned, has a sort of bit of a difference when it comes to their story mode, so you'll see some changes between me as Plague Knight and her as King Knight. Otherwise, there are some things that will otherwise be um, more or less fair. Uh, ooh, that was a bit of a stupid move on my part. So, uh, you'll notice that my opponent, Dark Reese, and probably Zornu's opponent too, uh, starts off in what's called Treasure Clash, and uh, the first, the CPU's first gem total tallies at a negative number. So, easy mode, that's one of the benefits. Uh, the AI changes, and so does, like, the starting stats and whatnot. So, in this case, um, whenever Dark Reese collects a gem, it'll turn the total to zero. And And there we go. I'm I'm good. How about you? Uh, uh, I'm. Uh, I just started the second fight. All right. I which just is finished. a showdown match between Mona and uh, Oop, I died. It's between Mona and uh, Prowler. I got Black Knight and King Knight. All right then. Hey. <laughs> uh, hey. Uh, that's. Uh, I suppose that's actually quite fitting, considering, uh, considering your opponent here is also King Knight. Yeah, and Mona being, uh, Plague Knight's assistant and crush. Oh. Ah! Oh. I guess, I guess we are kind of to be, uh, uh to, look, to look pretty nice, I guess. I guess. Anyway, uh, anyway, so, Showdown is essentially a stock match. That's basically what it is. Essentially what you call a stock match. Precisely. You have one. You have one. And yeah, that's amazing. That's really all there is to it. Ah, shoot. King Knight ah. just. I almost got King Knight, but he just took a health recovery at the last second. And then he got me. I did. I almost got the Teller Knight, but he. But he uh, I almost got the Teller Knight, but he, uh, uh, but he also got a health recovery. Uh, so uh, that's pretty unfortunate if you do it again. Yay! I got it. All right. All right. All right. So now. All right. This is okay. So okay. So okay. So this is one of the main changes uh, to uh, the character that you're playing. Uh, as you may have saw and seen earlier, uh, uh, there was a text box just now. Uh, unlike all the other ones, that's because this fight is actually entirely fixed. Uh, it's entirely scripted. Basically, what goes on in this fight is fully scripted. Uh, uh, this is one of the few cases where RNG is not or RNG or AI is going to be The one thing that's probably going to be different is your opponent's potential, at least in my case. See, I don't normally encounter the Enchantress and Treasure Knight, but the thing that's guaranteed is in one of Plague Knight's maps, uh, and Mona is going to be on. Um, so, uh, meanwhile, for King Knight, oh shoot, I believe it's a match with Spectre Knight, was it? Uh, yeah, so the match is the Parker Clash with Spectre Knight on, uh, uh, on King Knight. I gotta remember these things. I, I literally went out of my way to try and unlock almost everything. By the way, you might be wondering why we decided to do that. Something of, uh, I guess, out of, uh, well, yeah, out of fairness, or, you know, a gentleman and gentle lady's agreement, if you will. So, I guess we just figured it would work better for the sake of, uh, you know, having a good show. And I'm getting a One bit. thing that I should probably... One thing I should probably mention is that this whole run is pretty much just dependent on us. We might as well just... We might as well just, just play Rocket <laughs> Alright, there we but, go. But, 
But, but that would, but that would be good. Okay, now what is? No. That would be good. All right. By the way, uh, I just want a quick, uh, quick word on uh, the tech side of things. Can everybody hear Zorn? Okay. Just making certain that. Yeah, it's pretty important that I can actually be heard. Oh, um, oh. So, okay, okay. This is break the target. Uh, uh, there's also break the target not, but this is entirely different. And so basically, basically in Smash, the way Break the Targets work was that the targets were in a fixed position, but, but here the targets are actually in a different direction. I see your- I That's see- basically. Yeah, I see you're in Percy's it's targets. Also I'm uh, actually uh, a stage behind. I'm currently doing a treasure flash here in Polar Knight's map. Alright, done. Uh, uh, these rainbow targets right here will destroy every target on the screen. Uh, I want to make sure I actually hit them. Uh, especially when there's a lot of targets on the screen. Yeah. Uh, because that can lead to, uh, uh, that can lead to, uh, that can lead to me actually, uh, getting a pretty, uh, that can lead to, uh, beating pretty fast. Uh, I can also, uh, be hurt, I can also, uh, I can also destroy, uh, uh, what I probably should call a perky target, where it's it, it's just a target that has perky that has perky hanging on for two life on it. It's not good. It gets more points though, and we'll get break it. Yeah, yeah, that too. Wow, I these guys. I haven't. I, I haven't in a while. These guys are being party animals right now. I swear. All right, all right. I just defeated perky. I'm still on this stage. You're gonna have them. You're gonna have quite the advantage right now. Um, while I'm still to... losing over, I am still losing over a minute to my PB. But hey, this is a marathon. I wasn't expecting PB coming into it. Okay, finally. Oof. Uh, <laughs> while I'm uh, moving on to target pre uh, Percy's targets, maybe now's a good time for our fellow hosts to uh, give any plugs or any announcements. If you got any? Oh boy, do I have a plug here for you too. So as we know, this is Cutter's birthday weekend, and we're all here. We created this whole event, Pixels for People, everybody coming together for this, and we're raising money for Child's Play. We've raised over $1,700 so far, which is crazy, considering we only wanted to raise like over $250. And this is nuts, we've gone so much farther than that for such a great charity. That it, it, it really is. It's awesome, man. It's so. This is a whole day. This is like well, not even halfway through the last day, and we still got so many good runs. The spiral runs coming up next, and I've never seen this before, and this is very fun to watch too. We very so, much agree. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. this run is especially fun to watch because of the chaos. <laughs> yeah, I know some people sure love chaos. Yeah. Alright, so I did clear Percy's targets relatively fast, and I am on the next stage. So, uh, one thing we should explain is the parry system. There are no way- there's no way to, like, block your damage, so, uh, per se, so the only way you can, like, shield yourself is using a parry system, which requires you to, uh, get the timing basically down. And each character has their own, uh, unique animation, but the big, uh, similarity between all of them just being if the parry connects, they basically blow back the, uh, opponents. No damage done, but it's sort of- gives you distance. Force, it forces distance, basically. Yes. Back. So, one thing you'll notice is that within each of the matches, there are definitely some differences sometimes between the rule sets, like I'm in Beto, uh, what was it, Beto Branch, or, or Beto Breach, or whatever, where uh, all these Beto-like enemies are, uh, uh Burner Bluff. Uh, I'm pretty sure you were referring to Burner Bluff just now. Actually, no. It's not Burners. It's the Beatles. Oh, Beetle. Beetle. Oh, okay then. 
Right, but there are some, uh, I did have an ex extravaganza mo uh, match earlier, which involves all items, like a lot of item spawns, egg-based items, so burgers being one of those things. I remember, um, uh, um, um, I vividly, I vividly remember this one time I was watching, uh, the exact run that Tempest that got me to showdown. Uh, thank you, Tempest. I'm now fourth on the leaderboard. That's yeah. a few. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, so, 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 uh, so there's a Shovel Knight enemy called Burgers, which, I, which we had just been talking about. Uh, and in the Shovel Knight speedrunning TV, you like to refer to those guys as Steve. Uh, and, uh, Tempest's real name happens to be Steve. Indeed, so, I say it all the time. Yes, uh, so that, uh... I am um, a living, breathing Steve. I'm pretty sure, uh... uh I'm pretty sure, uh... Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I said something like, uh, I'm pretty sure I said something along the lines of, I see a blue, green, and yellow Steve, and he's the screen at you. Did I really? I don't remember that. Yes, you thought it was a stream at you. I don't remember that. that. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> oh, goodness. Never yeah. changed. Oh! Son of a gun, Baz. Oh boy. Alright, I told it, but the... Alright, uh, I, all right, I'm now on the, uh, I'm now on the second to last stage. Wow. That was a weird one. So you might have noticed that uh, we have like two ways to clear matches. Either you gotta meet the clear conditions, or you uh, basically gotta be in the lead when time runs out, and that was what happened with me. Uh, depending on the situation, I might want to clear the car, uh, conditions first, because that's gonna seem faster in comparison, but if the animation is gonna take longer than, say, the time of animation, depending on how little there is left, then I might just go with that instead. In that case, I had no choice because Baz was uh, constantly trying to collect as many gems as possible, so there was no way another one was going to spawn in the meantime, and I also happened to get the item that slows down the level and basically the fight free. So that was, that was All fortunate. Right. All right. All right, the vector is now down. Now I'm going to try to do a manipulation. All right, good. All right, good. I did Oh, I didn't spawn on the other side of the street. Right. So one thing that Zorn tried to do was uh, when you move on to the final phase of uh, the story from uh, the guest character to the Mirror of Fate, you want to be close to the right as possible because the cutscene shows your character constantly moving to the right. Uh, but yeah, as she mentioned, if you are too far from the border, it will push you to the left. It will assume that your character is back to the left. And that is much more of a, a loss of time than what you want. Oh god, I'm getting some horrible uh, attitude from these mirror clones of the play. Alright, alright, this, uh, this is the last, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is almost the last part of the run. Uh, uh, this is just one more thing. I'm pretty sure these balls, if they hit any of the gems, they'll end up turning into, uh, into bombs. They will, yeah, All and right, that also right. counts as a way for the mirror to collect gems, so... The mirror has, like, multiple ways, basically. That's one of them. It also tries to spawn a little energy tongue that then encases them in glass, kind of like how some of the treasure flashes work. It also tries to spawn a dark clone that will always die in two hits, and uh, that's basically how it can collect uh, the gems. So every, um, we want to try and get them as fast as possible. All right. Okay, good. All right. Okay, good. I can just pogo on this guy now. Uh, and the mirror's all right. Uh, the mirror is not your problem. Get ready on time okay. for Zorn, because right, the yeah. time is on the final yeah. hit of the second phase when. Uh, when the boss immediately runs out of health. I think time should back. I I I don't really think time should actually be on the on the on the frame that you lose control of the character. But uh, uh but yeah, it's on final hit. Yeah, I, I prefer final hit. I think it works. 
All right, I just got to fight Mona. And just one more stock. There we go. Now I just got to go to the right. And I should be time. on my way. Wait, no. Wait, no, not time. All right, now time. GG. All right, now. All right, and that's that. Okay, so now I just got to do my treasure crash. So, one last thing to mention uh, with the Treasure Clash is whenever you are at match point, the gem will have a much slower spawn than usual. So, I try to negate that by uh, either letting my opponent at least have one gem so that knocking at them out will then pop it up to me, or I could just in the case of a match that tries to spawn two gems at a time, I just try to, like, have an odd number at a time and um, probably let the other uh, take part. Although, I seem to have nine, and I don't think I did anything particular to let that happen. Oh, wait, no, I think it turned one into a bomb. Okay, just one more for me. Moving on to phase two. Time will be coming up for me very soon. Let's well not not time yet, sorry. I the bot the fight just started. <laughs> so one thing, by the way, you might have noticed is that one before even before the uh, battle. Uh, text says we can start, we can actually hit the Mirror of Faith immediately, so that's actually kind of funny. Also, if by any chance I were to lose this fight, um, if I made it to Phase 2, then they restart from Phase 2, so I'll still be good if I don't, like, lose in the sense that I have to do, uh, the Treasure Clash again, so, yeah. Um, also... We do have continues in case we were to lose any matches. In easy mode, the game gives you not. Get ready on time. And... Time. GG. I love the fact right. that holding up and down does the character taunts. It's kind of silly. <laughs> yeah. I think one, I think, I think King Knight's taunts are, um... Uh, are him sitting in his throne uh, with a wine glass, and the other one is just him crying like a child. Exactly, and then Plague Knight doing the f finger twiddle thing, and then just spinning his his uh, whatever it is, his staff. But yeah. yeah. Sure. All right, and that's basically it. Awesome for run. Um, any shoutouts you two have before we uh, wrap up and head to intermission? Well, first yes. I'd like to uh, quickly show my. Uh, I, uh, in-game stats. It's not important, but I just like to do that always. Um, but yeah, no, so Zorn, if you'd like to start off with the shoutouts, go ahead. Okay, shoutouts to, uh, I'm gonna have a few shoutouts to top runners. Shoutout to Mumu Akai, really great person. Uh, he made, uh, he made guides for every Annie percent guide here, or for every Annie percent category in this game, except for Showdown. Uh, well, in the base game, anyway. Right. Uh, uh, really great big guy. Shout out to Smoggy, who's the world record holder for uh, for Shovel Knight, any percent. Shout out to Breadcan, who is the world record holder for Plague Knight, any percent. Shout out to, I believe it's Padua, who is the uh, world record holder for Spectre Knight, any percent. Uh, shout out to, and shout out to Mad Madman, who is the world record holder for King Knight, any percent. Shout out to David TKI. Shout out to uh, basically to our friends of the community of the Shovel Knight shout community out. in general. You know what? Shout out to the whole community. All of you are amazing. Absolutely, you are all wonderful people, and keep doing what you're doing, guys. Uh, I know I just recently joined the Discord, but I always feel like I've been a part of it ever since I started running Showdown, and I just it's just been a fun time. So hopefully soon I'll have uh, Shovel Hope Down Pat, and I look forward to that. Otherwise, uh, if you guys would like to join the Shovel Knight uh, Discord, it is called the Spade Brigade, and uh, we'll see what we can uh, do to share the link, but uh, I think we should be. Um, otherwise, yeah, no, just... Shout out to the community, 
And um, I suppose shout out to any of my friends who were watching. I was uh, visiting some friends earlier today, and I uh, told them about this. And assuming they are uh, hearing me right now, hi guys. Thank you for uh, tuning in. But uh, yeah. Anyway, before we to toss it over to intermission, I just want to say that this won't be the last time you're hearing from us. I will uh, soon enough be coming back to bring you all Mega Man Extreme 2, Any Percent Zero Mission. So, uh, hope you guys are looking forward to that. Also, I also will be coming back for that, and not to race, but instead for commentary. Indeed. So, uh, all things considered, thank you guys for watching the race, and special thanks to Carter and Pixels for People for finally giving us the chance to do this. We've been pitching this for a while, and we are happy that we have had our opportunity to start doing this. So keep on uh, donating, guys. Child's Play is a wonderful cause, and we'll hopefully see you soon. Ciao, Michi.